Look, so welcome. Uh, I know it has been a, a really uh, productive day with a lot of content. So thank you much for all the people who is joining me in this session on how it is to contribute to open source. My name is Cesar Hernandez and let's have fun. Uh, I want to um, I want to make this as much, as interactive as possible. You already have 15 minutes to stretch out. It has been a long day, but uh, happy to be here. So without further ado, um, thank you to, to, to the entire JCOM team for, for the invite. And let's start the, the session. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Let me open the chat here so I am able to read your comments or your questions while we are diving into the session. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So, um, how I like, how I usually introduce myself? Well, I am a happy developer who likes to learn and share um, as much as I can or as much as I know, you know. Um, I'm a senior software engineer, engineer for Tommy Tribe, uh, the company who provides support for Apache Tomcat, Apache Active MQ, and, um, and, and, and of course, Apache Tommy. Um, you can keep reading there, but um, you know, um, I think the value of these live sessions nowadays is that you can have this interaction time that here on the recordings won't be possible. So feel free to 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 ask questions and and share your experience because um, this is a really uh, nice topic to wrap up for 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 this track. So when we when we talk about open source, we need to dif differentiate, and I and I start to present this independently of how many people is right now involved. That's a, a question that I'm gonna make after this, but uh, we need to make sure the, about the context of the session. We are not gonna talk about only open source as a whole. We are gonna focus on on open source software since it's the experience I have had. Um, I I know there there it, it, it applies also for hardware some other stuff, but the context is for specifically specifically for software. So this is the common definition that you may see. So this is when I start making questions and, and I would like to, uh, for all the people who, who is right now, the plus 80 people to just write plus one if you are already uh, involved in, in a project open source and minus one if you feel that you have not been yet involved in open source project uh, in software. Um, so yeah, I see. I see many people saying plus one, plus one, but also many people say minus two, minus one. Okay, that also counts. Thank you much for the quick feedback. Wow, it's, 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 it's flashing the, the plus 0 0.5. Okay, so one of one of the common uh, um, questions that I make for people who say minus one is, let me rephrase the question. Are you using an open source project in software, in this case, a Java related project, and those minus one becomes plus one. Um, and when that happened, I tell you, you are the most important person right now. Uh, the role that you play as a user is really huge. And we are going to see why in this session. So one of the first thing that someone that reply minus one or some of the one that already marked plus one uh, made at some point in their career was, okay, why should I be involved in open source? You know, So there are many drivers for that and there are many answers. I'm just pasting here some of the feedback that I have got during the years from people that are active on the open source. And, you know, someone says, okay, I want to become part of a family, new friends, networking and recognition. It could be different, different kind of motivation that you may have. Some others say, okay, I like because I want to join the open source or I joined the open source because I wanted to have this skill enhancement, right? Um, that goes in this list. How do you improve your skills and how do you understand better that particular piece of software that you, that you used, as I was telling at the beginning, but at some point you are starting to cross that bridge that you think is really big, but actually is not. When you say, okay, I'm becoming an expert or I am starting to be more pro pro proficient on this particular subject of matter and, and, and then I want to contribute also. And, and that is when people that say minus one to the first question may be a little bit scary to say, okay, I need to be an expert on this to actually start contributing. But the answer is no, we all can contribute with the different capacities and knowledge that we have about a particular topic. Um, so what is gonna happen after this? Uh, 
there, there is also another set of people who say, okay, um, this, this, this summarizes what I just spoke about, that it depends on, the, on your skills, you may be fit in the right place to contribute. Let me give you an example. Some people that I have speak with say, okay, I really like, um, let's give you an, an ex, uh, 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 not so uh, outdated technology, but let's say I like GitHub Actions. I heard that that is really fun and I would like to be involved in open source project. So let me give you an example. Let's say um, Apache told me right now, even though it has the Apache infrastructure for, for CI and continues, um, for, for continuous integration to build the application server up on the open source side of the fence, um, still there is a room for you to send a PR and say, okay, this is how I think we can integrate for HPR GitHub Actions. Um, that is continually evolving. And I give you this example because actually that's one of the PRs that I have been uh, from time to time uh, working. But um, you see, you don't need to be an expert in Maven, in, 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 J, J, in Jakarta EE or Java EE as we call it. If you are really uh, proficient in uh, GitHub Actions right now, I bet that there is more than one open source project that is welcoming you in a huge way for sending a PR for just for that. So. What happened when you gain that knowledge? Some of the people say, okay, but I, I, some people do it for fun. And I think most of us enjoy what we do. And that's, we are in this, in this, in this session, in this, in this, in this event. Um, but also at some point, you know, we need to pay the bills. And that is when there are also opportunities for bring that passion that you have for a particular project or a particular, um, uh, so, uh, software uh, repository, as I later call them, uh, for say, okay, I, I gain a lot of experience, I contribute back because as a user, I, I am using that software and I contribute back uh, to the community, but also I want to contribute back to pay all my bills, right? So uh, there are, these are just examples of uh, platforms that allow you to put your man hours to say, okay, I'm going to uh, maybe offer two hours per week to any of these platforms for anybody interested in GitHub Actions and something related with uh, Apache Tomcat, you know. So there, are, there is a, a huge opportunities for you to also make some uh, re uh, monetary retribution for your knowledge. Um, okay, but let's let let's see. Um, for in, in terms of how open source work, because we need to understand what, what's going on there. It's not just the GitHub repo that you see with a licensed budget. That is not just open source. There is more to see for that. So <clears throat> it will depend on the, on the, again, in the perspective, when you see, when you approach an open source project, um, for example, there, for example, the open source can have some commercial interest. Uh, for example, the open source project can be something that was donated that previously was not open source and this this happens really frequently frequently in the past 15 years when huge companies say okay we are open sourcing this project and there you go you have it and and at that and at that point you know there is some sponsorship going on and obviously there are companies who first start with the open source project and then they evolve there is a there is a group of, of individuals who create the open source project but then they create a company on top of that um, and that is the third bullet that you see open source support right um, also in terms of the community there are different ways to get involved as I was mentioning at the beginning and also uh, common social norms that we need to follow for each. But again, Cesar, what, what that means to actually be involved in open source, that, that's a huge fuss for me, uh, it's, it's intimidating. So when someone think about how open source is, the, how is the governance of an open source? If you think that this is the kind of, you're familiar with the Simpson, if you're not familiar with the Simpson, please put a minus one and, and I'm gonna, for, for the next iteration, I'm gonna add another slide, but um, it's, not go, it's not governed by just one person. It's not just one super genius who say, okay, this is the, what is gonna go in the next release, what's gonna go in this release, you know? Actually, and remember what I said at the beginning, actually, you are in charge. You are the governance of the open source. You, as the minus ones that I see in here, if you are actually using an open source project, you are huge, you're a huge and a key ex stakeholder for that open source project because you are the users we as users of the open source, we help to provide feedback. We are the ones who decide, okay, this framework is giving me too much headache. I need to change to something else. 
or <laughs> people that even change that profession, you know, uh, that is stop coding because what they are working is not comfortable. So you have the power of the open source and how that works. Many people think, okay, let's go back to the example that I say, okay, I have heard this word about committers in the open source. And again, I think that those are the ones who code like 10,000 miles per hour in the keyboard and have this, uh, these, these crazy hours of, of coding. Uh, but actually, apart from the committers, the community itself is the one who govern and rules and, and help to grow and provide a healthy environment for the open source project to evolve and, um, and, and, and live, right? Because uh, we have seen so many good open source projects that you may use at some point, and then you find out that it was only one or two persons behind it and they were not getting uh, enough feedback or we're not getting driven or money-making decisions or career decisions and suddenly that project is dead, right? So um, when, you, when when I think open source, the first thing that comes to my mouth, open source software project is, okay, community, because the community are the ones who actually make that a living, uh, in this case, Springfield, but in that case, a living um, a project. Um, some things that we need to be aware about, uh, apart from the governance, is also the type of licenses. I'm not gonna, I, I'm not going to spend much on this topic, but uh, just to give you some facts, uh, if you go to GitHub, the most common license be, being used in the past seven years are MIT, Apache 2.0, IGNU, GPL version three. Um, Cesar, when I need to choose a license, uh, why is license important? Go to choose after the session, go to choose a license.com. And um, if you feel comfortable working with any particular kind of license or an individual kind of license, then you can segregate and actually come up with a subset of open source project that you may be interested in. Because some people, and I have I have had this question before. Okay, I, 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 I just not, I, I don't want to just go to the first open source project that crossed in front of my eyes, but I actually, I want to go for the ones that are related with Apache, for example. So in that case, I need to, I, my, my palette of options, um, it's, uh, is, um, you know, it's compound to a, to a specific set. And for some organizations or for some individuals, this is, um, something really useful to start from. Tools that you may want to have in the open source. I already mentioned Git, as, as nowadays is more common. There are Apache projects that are still on SBN. And, and, and again, the community is migrating over the past 10 years that over to Git, um, uh, Gitbot, and then therefore GitHub. Um, tracking systems like Jira, the old Boxilla, and many others are available now in GitHub or GitLabs, independently what you use, have many tools that you may find useful. Um, Maven and building automation tools. I'm not gonna start the war if Maven or Gradle or Ant, it doesn't matter what you feel comfortable, then use that's one of the other aspects that you can choose from to say, okay, I want to collaborate in this open source project because I feel comfortable using Ant. And, and I see that this project relies heavily on Ant and I think I can share with younger developers what I have learned, or I am a younger developer who wants to learn Ant, just as an example, right? Usually the communication is asynchronously uh, most of the time. So you have, for example, for the Apache project, you are um, commonly, you, you found these two the mailing lists, user and dev. Um, another question that I got is when, when should I use the user and when should I use the dev? And again, if you are just consuming the software and providing feedback and want to, want to know, for example, why my configuration is not working, Please give me the recipe uh, and I'm gonna check out later the, the mailing list, use the user at uh, mailing list. But if you are, um, you have a little bit more time and you say, okay, I want to debug or I want to provide a, a stack trace and also provide some heap dumps. And then is when you start migrating to the dev mailing list and say, oh, hey, and you say, hey, how can I help, right? Uh, I want hands-on code or hands-on infrastructure code. And then messaging, we start with the all and uh, with the all IRC. 
Um, and move, uh, eventually the open source had been uh, adopting more and more. You saw the, you, you are familiar, I guess now with Gitter, those patches that from a GitHub repository send you to a specific uh, chat with the project. Microprofile has a couple of those for all who are related with Microfile. I saw the previous um, session and, and one of the questions was related with Microfile. Slack is, is common also. It, dep it depends from region to region what is common, but um, the meaning is there is a chat in which you can interact with the community independently if you're a user, a dev, or, 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 or just are trying to find this information to see if you can join or not. And also lately, uh, also depends from project to project, uh, but in the next 15 minutes, we're going to see two examples of projects which uh, rely heavily on handouts or right now, uh, my, uh, I will say Zoom calls. Uh, but the takeaway here is more and more uh, some open source projects are, you know, welcoming people to live interaction as we are right now. Um, apart from that, you may have another decision factors for to, to, to choose from um, that are related to an open source software project that the programming language, obviously. Uh, this is a Java heavily based com conference content. So um, feel free to, 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 to make questions maybe not related to Java because I have been also a little bit involved in known open source related project with Java. Um, but at the end, everything falls into the same category that we are to, that, that we have seen here. Technology domain, if you are an infra guy, don't, 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 don't be shy. We software developers <laughs> like infrastructure teams, as I mentioned at the beginning, for, with the example of GitHub Actions, more and more this kind of approach to have the infrastructures, the CI servers and everything, um, uh, you know, the nodes to make uh, the TCK. Um, now I'm jumping to Jakarta E. Um, that requires, you know, this, I don't know if you like this topic or not, but the DevOps, um, it means uh, we require people who understand infra and at the same time can code. So don't be shy. We are welcoming in, in all the communities uh, from all, all areas of expertise. And in terms of community culture, this is something that you need to be aware. Uh, I create these four categories just to give you an, an overall example. Um, some communities are more friendly than other ones. Uh, some communities are kind of at expert only. So even if, if you join and you start reading the mailing list, there are so much deep content there that you need to spend. The, the, the email is like three sentences, but then I have found myself going <laughs> and, and actually trying to learn what each sentence uh, uh, has in terms of meanings. And then I figure out the, the entire uh, concept. So this will depend obviously in there, uh, in your, with depends based on your area of, of expertise. And, and the nasty ones, okay, I put this one because from time to time, you have hear uh, about uh, some projects or some individuals inside of projects that may be because you know we are in a in, in, in the the, the, the war is flat. You know that means that I as a person from Guatemala can make a statement that can be irrespectful so for someone in China or in, in Germany or vice versa. So um you need to be aware of the codes of conduct and and based on that uh you know um, try to adapt and embrace uh, that community culture because otherwise you fell in this nasty category of, of contributions and, and users that is, sometimes is involuntary because of the regions or the language you name it um Again, the type of contributions I put it here, uh, something that I haven't mentioned, documentation is the first thing that someone uh, may tell you about how to contribute. Um, I have some example later about uh, something that we did with that Apache uh, Tommy project with, with, uh, with, with, with regards to documentation in the sense of translation to a different Spanish, so to a different language like Spanish and Portuguese. Uh, workshops is another great way to contribute to an open source project. Why not? Let's spread the word of this useful tool that I found and is, is being supported by our, by our open source community. So I want to contribute also by spreading the word about how to use it. And many of these sessions that you have had today are in this line, you know, um, if the people is not a, 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 an evangelist from that uh, 
that from, from the company that supports the project, um, you can say, okay, that person is contributed as a user, as a worship. Um, and, and, and that's pretty much another great way. Testing, obviously, continuous integration and mention, uh, even moderators and channels. We had had in Jakarta EETCK calls that's ha that had been happening from Friday to Friday, not all the Fridays, depending on the amount of content. But you know, since Jakarta EE, formerly known as Java EE, TCK is now open source. There is a huge green field of knowledge waiting for us as developers because previously that was not open source. That was a great example. So we decided, I am a, I am a committer for, for Jakarta ETCK, and we decided to create these uh, Friday calls apart from the mailing list, obviously. But uh, we had a call when someone from, I, I've, I think it was from Oracle, uh, show a specific use case how to run some uh, individual TCK test. And we have, new people joining that call that is not a commuter is the first time and we embrace them to moderate to have the agenda to send the meeting notes all these kind of things you is how you can start embracing people to join the the the, the community um and again any substantial set of actions so the first example obviously that i'm gonna to give you is one of the first project i got involved uh I will say more than seven years ago that is related with, with, with Java, which is Apache Tommy. For all of those that are completely new to this open source project, you can think of Apache Tommy like Tomcat, Apache Tomcat, plus uh, Java E, or I will call it Jakarta E, as is now the, the, the new name. Um, we are we as a community are working for Jakarta E9 release, which is uh, just uh, by the end of this year, and there are some uh, really cool uh, recognitions that the project has has, right? <clears throat> this project resides under the umbrella of the Apache Foundation. Um, there is a, a really nice um, documentary about what this thing about the Apache way. I really uh, recommend you for you to check out that on YouTube. You just uh, Apache Foundation, the Apache Way, and it's a documentary about many of the key stakeholders of the Apache Foundation. But as you can see, it's not a small foundation. It has more than three plus 300 uh, projects. And, um, you know, we are talking about many of the projects that you may have been using already appear in that, um, in that slide. And uh, when I say the Apache way, when, I, when we are talking about Apache break, not just Apache Tumming, um, we need to realize how things work, right? How is the organization inside? So normally when you see di uh, you know, um, diagrams that describe how entity work you have first, uh, the CTO, the CEO, the CTO, and then you have all these positions. But here you see why, as I call, as I said at the beginning of the session, you as a user are very important. You are on the top of the of, of the relevant, uh, you know, the the in this diagram. The users are the one who use, provide feedback, and so on. Contributors are next. The difference between user and contributors basically is the, uh, I, as a contributor, I can commit the code, I can review and commit the code into the version control systems. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I just make a, a mistake here. User can use the software, contributors are the ones who use it and also start making a tutorial or are attending the session. You are being actively a contributor right now which after this, you just say, hi, how, how can I help guys in the mailing list of any of these open source projects? And the difference between contributor and committer is that the committer actually has right access to the virtual control systems. Then you have the PMC chair and you have the board. So how can you know if the project is really healthy within the Apache Foundation? If the decisions and all the challenge that appears in the project are resolved in these three levels. Even if in these two levels are resolved, it means why we need committers if the contributors and users are so great that they can fix all the stuff and propose and you know that means there is a really healthy community if at some point one open source project within the apache foundation needs to reach to the board to say okay we are we are trying to figure out this or the pm chair needs to be involved that means okay this is our uh, this is kind of a red flag you know that project is not independent enough to be governed and 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 evolve by these first three layers Let's move on. Tooling that you need for joining Apache Tommy project. Uh, again, as I said, uh, join the dev mailing list. Um, if you have used any 
tracking system like Jira, you are all set. We have a Slack, we don't use it much uh, because we rely more on the mailing list, but the channel is there for you. Um, we have GitHub mirroring SBN and uh, specific uh, steps, uh, guidelines, and you will see some diagrams after. Uh, you can find them on tommy.apache.org forward slash community. Uh, we have recommendations that doesn't apply only to Tommy, it applies for any other open source project, but you may, hand find, you may find useful. Technical prerequisites. Okay, this is when the things uh, get challenged the first time you see this, or I need to know Archelium, Jakarta E, you haven't released Jakarta E9, but you want me to contribute, how can I <laughs> contribute? But any substantial amount of um, information, knowledge that you have over this and many other topics are really useful for a start contrib actively contributing to an open source project. Um, more examples of what, what, he, what we have uh, done and what we are, what are we having, what we are doing right now with uh, Jakarta EE9 just uh, around the corner, uh, a lot of documentation called tests that we have made, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a space always, there, there is all, always a space for, for, for more contribution. And somebody said to me, okay, I haven't joined to open source project because I feel like the open source project is like someone dropping me in the jungle with just a knife in my mouth and I am all alone by myself. And the answer is, oh, I don't know which project are you referring to, but many of the open source projects I, I, I have participated have documentation, how to create a Jira ticket, you have that diagram, how to basic of GitHub fork and you know how we tag stuff, how we release, everything is there. How can I create an issue? How can I create a Jira and make sure that my bug is relevant and, and check if there is, another duplication of that all that is documented in this and many other open source projects so 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 it's not like me alone in the jungle with just a knife you know um and remember what i spoke about the community well we had we we, we had this uh tommy hack date by the end of 2019 uh in which uh you know um people that uh, fr from many countries uh, spanish spoken countries uh united together on a Saturday morning and we hack a little bit. Uh, the, 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 the end goal of that uh, hack day was to make a first PR and we got a couple of them. So it was really, really great to, to, to see, uh, you know, the community, the faces that you normally don't see on the mailing list, see the persons there. And on top of that, um, Tommy Tri has been, you know, one of the, the, the main supporters of the open source project. Um, created this by the end of 2019 to have a way to recognize the, con the, the contribution uh, that has been done in the project. So for example, Daniel Diaz here, uh, he's the one that right now has translated to Portuguese more than 90% of the Apache Tommy uh, examples. Um, David Salter uh, all, also has created a bunch of content. Um, and, and in this case, Patricia for Colombia, was one of the first attendees of that hack day and she started to be involved more and more in not just, I will say Apache Tommy, but I will say in the whole uh, Jakarta e Java enterprise ecosystem. So it's, 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 it's just a matter of have fun and then things are gonna be uh, more easier. Second example, MicroProfile, another, um, another, for all of those that are, are not aware of MicroProfile, write a minus one, please stretch your fingers. I know we are as developers are always on the keyboard. So I, I, I know that you feel strange not being typing by so long. So for all of those who are aware of microfile plus one, for all of those who are not aware of microfile minus one, perfect. Uh, this is a, a specific session. Uh, there is a specific session for microfile. I bet the topic it will be covered during the conference, but in a glance, microfile is um, the response from the community for the Java enterprise ecosystem to embrace and facilitate the implementation, deployment, and so on of microservices in Java. And the, port, the takeaway from here is that uh, when we as a community, Tommy Drive and another company is being part of this initial um, the boost of, of, of the project, um, the project didn't have a house, I will say. It means it didn't reside inside of an organization or, 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 or an entity, an umbrella. So at some point the decision was made and the project microfile is now hosted under Eclipse Foundation and is supported and adopted by many of these companies that you see on the right side. 
Uh, it has a specific set of features and APIs that implements specific cloud native uh, purposes like configuration, uh, metrics, health checks, and so on. I'm not gonna go deep dive into this, but the important part is that it resides under a foundation. So if you are if you are creating right now something that you eventually will want to become an open source project, think of this. It's the, the, the amount of success your project may have and the embracement of the community and also the help that you will re, uh, get from going inside of our organization is tremendously uh, multiplied by thousands uh, compared if you try to do all by yourself. It doesn't mean you cannot do it, but um, you know, uh, intellectual property, infrastructure and diffusion and other communities just around uh, in the next door uh, are the things that the projects uh, find useful when they join to an uh, organization. And in this case, MicroProfile is under the umbrella of Eclipse Foundation. Again, Eclipse is not just an IDE. Please, if someone uh, in, the, in this room thinks that Eclipse is just an IDE, please, after this session, um, make sure to check out this slide. Eclipse Foundation is actually the one that hosts more than 360 projects, being Eclipse IDE just one of them. Jakarta e is also here under the Eclipse Foundation. So many, many, many projects. Um, in this case, uh, how is the governance in, in MicroProfile? Right now there is, there, as we are speaking, MicroProfile is, um, is turning into, a, into having a, its, its, its own working group. That's a separate discussion, but just FYI, things are slightly at the, uh, adjusting as, as we are right now in this month. Top, it's a top level project. Um, the, how are committers elected is by merit. Uh, that means uh, you know you can you start contribute you start to get involved and eventually um, the um, the other committers say okay they they will invite you and they will open a vote for that. Uh, how decisions are made? Again, there is a Google group for 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 th there is the um, a Google group of, Google group for managing most of the discussions and. It can it can have different type of license, not just not not just because the project is within the Eclipse Foundation, it means it only can obtain that kind of license. Uh, it has a slightly different tooling that Apache projects in the sense that it has a Google Calendar for all the calls. Um, if you are um, interested in a particular API, there are bi-weekly calls related to that particular project. So you can say, hi, I am interested in metrics, for example, and start contributing from there. Uh, relies on GitHub, Gitter, and soup by weekly community calls also to just uh, spread uh, the status of the current project. We are almost running out of time. We have two minutes. Um, so um, start preparing your question in, in case you have one. But uh, in terms of technical prerequisites, again, it's Java, Maven, Git JUnit, whatever you use <laughs> in software. And if you are uh, related with Java, uh, you're going to find a place for that contribution to actually start to happen. So when we talk about the community, again, we have some community calls when you can actually interact with the committers. Um, Microfile has this all has the, had a, had, has a promotion also for sessions that you may be given workshops or tutorials that you have created. Last year I I I helped it in the creation of a ebook related with Microfile and and it was under an open source license and it was distributed freely. Um, the links are, I'm, I'm gonna add them uh, at the end of the session, but uh, the point is that MicroProfile as a community also allow you to have a platform to spread what you have contributed and what others have contributed. And this is just an example of a meeting going on. You have the agenda, you can participate, you can ask questions and you can find out what's going next, which I think is also really something really, really valuable. Um, before ending the slides, uh, I want to share with you this particular, um, this particular photo that my one of my aunts uh, gave me a couple couple years ago. So for those who know me in person, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, tall person, uh, 1.6 meters, um, um, one meter and 60 centimeters. So when I was around seven years, I found out uh, that you can make home rooms in more than one way, because I always saw the big kids, you know, the one with the strong arms, you know, throwing the ball uh, really, really far away just with by one hit. But I 
that was a lesson. That particular moment, um, I learned that you can make home runs with more than one way. Uh, if you don't play baseball, that is that is an example when you hit the ball and the ball goes in a slightly funny way, and uh, the other team also has to contribute. You know, <laughs> they also contribute to 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 the open uh, home run when they goofy and they start goofing around with the ball. But it gives you the time to go to throughout all the bases and return home, and 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 say, okay, I finally did a home run. It was the only one I I was able to make in my entire life. But the takeaway from that is that. Just because you put minus one, just because you may be a user, as you may think, I have heard that, um, don't think you are actively involved in open source. You are very important in the entire ecosystem. And, you know, uh, when you start to be a contributor and then eventually when 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 I, for example, when I start to be a committer on, on Jakarta E or a committer on Apache Tommy, by that time I was enjoying so much of the projects that I keep contribute. So it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't, open source doesn't need to be around the titles and all that. It's more about the community and what you can achieve with the skills that you have as, as you see there in, in the picture. I, I, I didn't even properly know how to land <laughs> safely, but eventually I did it. Um, I want to thank you for your time, for, for being here. Hope to see you next year at this great conference. 